This video is regarding showcasing a demo of how Kitploy can generate test cases as well as data mocks for your backend applications. I'm going to take a Java sample application, which is an employee management app, does the CRUD operations on employees. Um, this is the main repository of Kiploy where the server lies. You can just simply install it. I'm going to follow the um, samples Java repository. So I've already installed Kiploy server. I'm going to start it. And I've also cloned this samples Java application here. Now, uh, to integrate the Kiploy Java SDK with my application, I need to follow certain steps. First, I need to add the Kiploy dependency. So I've added it here. Uh, then I need to also uh, import the uh, Kiploy middleware with my main class. I've done that here. And I also need to, you know, have the agent jar. So how you can go to it is um, go to Maven Central, download the latest version of this agent jar and put it in the main directory of your application. Now, the last thing that I need to do is set up this agent um, I have just added the VM options um, as Java agent and then gave the absolute path to this agent jar. And I've now added the environment variables, uh, which is Kiploy mode record, because I'm just going to make the API calls and record the test cases. And denoise is true, which just means that it is going to ignore all the random fields like timestamps or um, some random numbers which are going to change in every API call. Now let's go ahead and run uh, our Postgres instance first. So I am just going to run the Postgres instance. It is running now and I'm going to start the sample application. Now let's just go ahead and make an API call. So I have this post API call which adds a employee record. So yeah, here are the uh, test case and mocks generated. So in the test case, I have the request and response header, and also I have the mock uh, for the Postgres instance. Let's make another API call to get the user that we put on employee ID one. And there was another test case generated. Uh, interesting part is that uh, since Postgres is a SQL based database, it captured this whole query, the rows, and uh, you can generate the test cases and mock like that. Now let's go ahead and uh, simply run the test cases that we captured. So first we need to set the environment variable of deploy mode to test. Let's run the sample Java application JUnit. Yep, you can see on the deploy server that both the test cases ran and uh, passed. Now let's introduce an error. Let's say we have a field name changed which is being queried. So instead of first name, it will query name from the Postgres instance. Also, I forgot to stop the Postgres. Even without the Postgres, it is going to run. Because we already have the mocks, we didn't need Postgres. Yep, it has run and one test case passed and one failed. Let's go into detail. So it is why because the first name is now different, it was not able to uh, query the name parameter that we changed um, and thus the first name was null. So this is how you can capture the test cases and quickly run those and achieve good line coverage with Kiploy. Hope you liked it.